to anything that happens, let it be within or outside or whatever, um, the more I can fully embrace uh, any sort of experience and then become more of like mm. a, a curious traveler, right? Rather than the judger or the, the critic or the, the victim, you know, and any of that, but actually be like, oh, wow, so this is happening. Let's explore. Let's become curious about these feelings and emotions or sensations or, you know, experiences. And, and that, that, and then now it's like, oh, okay. Now it's like becoming really interesting. Yeah. yeah. Do, do, you, do you find that, having explored all these, you know, modalities of, you know, inner work, do you find that now just an everyday experience can become a teacher in and of itself? Oh man, so much, so much. And, and like I said, you know, just like, uh, like currently trying out all sorts of different pranayama breathwork oh, yeah. stuff and, and, and like even just, you know, let's say Kabbalah body, right. And the way I've learned it and also my yoga teacher training and whatever. And, and, and then, but suddenly taking things that you've done so many times as they were instructed, but then you take them and you just kind of, you alter them a little bit, really yeah. like you pivot a little bit. And then, or the other day I was doing, Dan Brule is, is doing something called Breath Church live oh, once wow. a week or something on Zoom. And he was doing, um, he was uh, teaching us to breathe um, in sync with the music. So he was playing these different songs, you know, that, and we were learning how to get in tune with the beat or the music or the whatever. And like, man and i'm just like shit why did, have i never considered <laughs> yeah. that like of course you can like listen to a piece of music and start yeah. breathing with the piece of music you know so i'm like damn like yeah. that is some really awesome shit right there so that is taking a really you know i guess ordinary experience like listening to a piece of music and then suddenly becoming aware of your breath and then you know syncing it up with the music and things like that or mm. also you know also recently just because i you know we have a dog at home and i went out for a walk with her every day for an hour or two and just exploring new areas um around my hometown you know and i thought i knew it all i've seen it all but fuck no like when you're more conscious and more aware and actually more in the present moment yes you see so much more and so we kept on exploring and and I was just like, wow, I feel like I can't believe I grew up here, you know, yeah. and it's actually really beautiful and awesome, but I was never able to fully appreciate it. So, oh man, there's so many experiences where, you know, I feel like I've, up, I've been able to upgrade them because of a lot of the inner work that I've been doing and the, and the practices and modalities. And I think one of the biggest one is the breath. I feel like through that, through that, being able to connect to my breath, being able to connect to my body, being able to connect to my emotions, I can connect more to my outer surroundings and life mm. and people. Yeah, man, it's fascinating. Huh? You know, I think um, one of the interesting things about the breath is that it's perhaps the only vessel to the unconscious that we can control as well. You know, it's the only thing that we can decide to increase, but it's also happening, you know, despite the fact that we're unconscious of, and I think, um, and, and breath work has been, you know, among, you know, rituals and traditions, sacred traditions for thousands of years. And the fact mm. that there is now this kind of like breath work revolution, I don't know, maybe it's just my ignorant optimism, but I'm quite excited about the kind of this consciousness revolution that I think the world is kind of going through. It seems like there's this whole bubbling kind of going, you know, mm. you, you see that as well? Or? Huge. Yeah. For sure. Especially with the breath. I think that, um, I mean, maybe it's also when, you know, you want to buy a red car and then suddenly yes. all you see is red cars. Maybe totally. it's that a little bit too. Um, I swear so, there are more red cars. <laughs> <laughs> so all I see is breath work these days. But yeah, I also really breath work cars. <laughs> yeah. Um, I totally agree though. I think that where breath work is right now is maybe where meditation was, you yeah. know, in terms of mainstream, uh, maybe 15 years ago or something mm. like that, or 10 years ago. I really think that, you know, there's more and more apps around breath work and some really cool stuff. And then, um, and there is, 
all these beautiful offerings now through the Corona thing and, and, you know, breathwork is teaching online and bringing together different modalities with the breath. And I really think that this is just the beginning mm. of something really, really, really big. And I'm really excited about it. And like here, for example, in Berlin, I mean, even though this is the most forward thinking city, you know, here in Germany, um, breathwork hasn't arrived here yet, like at all. Um, and there, or generally in Germany, like there isn't much going on yet. And I'm really, mm. really excited to also bring it, you know, over here and, and, and um, yeah, cause it's, because uh, when I was living in LA or in Bali, it's like everybody's doing breathwork kind of, yeah. you know, but man, there's still um, so many people who haven't heard of it or they're like, I was just talking to a friend yesterday in a while and, and yeah, there's so many people who have no idea what you're talking about. Um, and so there's still, yeah, a lot of potential in terms of the breath. 